special edition of uh, our program, our beloved program, Open the Gates. And here we are here with our special guest, Romain. Oh my God. Who came all the way from Paris to film this episode. Yeah, because it's our British month. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Sasha from, uh, from Country's Eye. <laughs> Thank, thank you for being here with us and to welcome us into your shop. Welcome to England. <laughs> <laughs> you have two shops in London and one in Paris. Yes. Called Cook and to mm-hmm. We can find you in Soho, in Nothing Hill and in Etienne Marcel yes. in Paris. Yes. Sasha, who are you and what do you do in all this Cook and to How did it start? Well, where do we start? Yes. From the very, very beginning okay. or from somewhere in the middle? Let's start from the middle. Where it's interesting. Uh, well, <laughs> basically, it's, um, as we always, many times, we mentioned, probably most, most of the people do know who we are and what we do. Mm-hmm. Uh, me and Marion, we collaborate on, on, a, on a, yeah. our lifetime project that is called uh, Kokun Tuzai. We've started it in 1996 okay. in May and... Um, it's been going now for, I think, about 18 years or yeah, something. Huge. Um, it's been a welcome success by the young generation, mostly. They've been very, been very supportive, and now we can see that generation has grown up and they have children. Yeah. But now the next generation is coming, and they're kind of embracing this style and um, maybe some ideas that we're trying to present, yeah. I suppose. But it's pretty amazing because you're a fashion designer, you're a very good businessman, and you have all those shops, and you also turn them into interior shops. You do like so many things. You even do music yourself. How yeah, do you deal with those things? Yeah, yeah. My 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 background is as origin actually. I come from music background, so mm. I spent about thirteen years in the music industry. So I often used to go to Germany and to to Belgium my favorite country and and also to Holland you know to provide music for our stores Mm -hmm. in in the old days there was no mp3 there was no internet we literally we needed physically to go there make presents and and buy the vinyl that was then brought over to England and um, and shown to the public Mm -hmm. sold to the public but we always with Marion the idea of 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 the shop of Kokontozai was the actual unity between um, it was like a unity between music, fashion and art. Mm-hmm. So we, we're constantly surrounded by these three elements, by this pyramid of culture. And then we always wanted it to uh, upgrade our knowledge, firstly, and also inform the rest of the world of the things that are taking place. Uh, this, um, whether they're in, in Europe, in America, in Japan. That's why the name of Kokon Tuzai means from east to west from old to now, it means from everywhere. So we will take um, ancient elements or we will take new elements and we will mix it and then we'll have a, a, a new edition or a new new feeling. So. Okay, you travel a lot, you yeah. also work around the world, like you have this uh, very strong team in Bali and you yeah. also have a bit of team in Paris and a big team in uh, the UK. Yes. Uh, you've been building this huge family of artists. You connect with all the most interesting people of the world. It's like a world like challenge. Yourself. Like, like yourself. Like yourself. Yes. No, but it's like a life project to connect with all those crazy and interesting people. Is this like a goal for you to connect with them, to dress them and to be inspired from them? How did you create your family actually? It's, you know, it, it, it's like a one big boat and then as the boat sails, you know, people jump on that boat and then you get to know them and then the relationship matures within the sail and then some people probably go somewhere else, step on another boat and you, your boat continue, mm-hmm. continue going and, and this long-term relationships is something that really kept me going and, 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 and made us believe in what we are doing, you know. In the beginning also we were confused, we were, you know, maybe for, for the people who would like to establish their own business or for the people that would like to start something and they're on the first on the first stage uh, you have to believe in what you do mm-hmm. and if you put your heart and your soul to it things do happen obviously they don't happen overnight but it takes time and then those circles will will grow and it will grow and it, it will it will reach much greater um, audience and, and you will be maybe supported and loved by, by more people. Okay. 
And so for me, the, ideally, the, the actual design, the actual idea behind, let's say, KTZ, it's the uh, idea of Marian Piotrowski. Mm-hmm. He's, he's the greatest, uh, personally, I think he's the greatest adventurer that he, he travels and reads and, and, and very open-minded, goes to lots of art exhibitions and probably more art exhibitions than fashion events mm-hmm. recently. He also and danced naked in the streets. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he does. <laughs> When was that? With Vivian Westwood shoes. Oh. We saw him. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and, uh, and then um, he's the visionary. He's the one that actually has that vision of the actual how the collection looks, what we are developing. And I basically, I support his ideas and I try to understand how to make these ideas into mm. real, into re- bring them into the real world. Uh, the, biggest, uh, the biggest commitment was to open our art studio uh, or our studio where we can actually do lots of experiments yeah. uh, was decided to be in Bali. Wow. And um, it took us about six or seven years to kind of perfect it, to, to have people, to teach people how to do handworks and how to, to develop, everything. develop everything. So what I feel mostly proud of is that I know that each garment, who made it. Yeah. So I can tell you by name, yeah. like which person was working on which garment. So I have, we have this like a direct connection with the actual maker, with the, the, KTZ, the, the KTZ team, you know. Yeah. So. Of course, you know, where we work also, you know, in our place is where all the religions are together and we mm-hmm. also celebrate different events. If it's, uh, let's say, if it's Christmas or if it's uh, full moon or is it, which, you know, whichever religion it is, we actually have them in one place. Yeah, yeah. So you have the Hindus, the Buddhist, uh, the Christian and the Muslim, we all under one <laughs> roof. And you know what? It functions perfectly. That's great. It's, it's, it's a great unity. And is there a, the best way to do it. Is there a main message in your uh, expression into fashion? Well, because you do connect with the kids, you have a very new and fresh feeling with all your creation, but is there like a strong impact you want to do? I, I think the, the, one of the things that always Marion and I were kind of working and, and, and looking at, it's preserving cultures. Yeah. And looking into developing Uh, collections that are connected with mm-hmm. with certain ethnic mm-hmm. groups that they are probably on the verge of maybe extinction or yeah. they just modernized and and then um, trying to find that language how to translate it into modern yeah. clothing and stuff and this I, I think when I, the mostly I've seen Marian excited when we've traveled through regions where you literally meet tribes where there's no like telephones and there's yeah. no, you know, nothing, you know, and you see how amazing these people are, yeah, yeah. In, in a way, you know, and, and probably this is where we kind of draw a lot of uh, inspiration from, you know, and the purity yeah. Yeah. Okay. of their cultures, yeah, and then we translate it through the clothing. Often people say, oh, is this is like some sort of... Uh, African embroideries? Or no, no, they were, they, they were saying, I can see like people mentioning words like um, Illuminati or they mm-hmm. mention words like uh, some dark society and I'm like... You know, the when people look at the, the KTZ collection, often they say, oh, what are the elements? What is the DNA of KTZ? And most of the time we will mention like all the symbols that we use. Um, alphabets, alphabets that we play with. This is all ancient languages. What we're trying to do, we try to communicate with the young generation mm-hmm. and introduce them to these ancient cultures. Mm. Um, one of the symbols that recently was uh, revealed on our catwalk, for which we all got a little bit like scared, yeah. uh, it was the um, swastika. But this sign is, is been through Christianism, Hinduism, you know, it's been with us for thousands of years. And it always has been symbol of life and uh, why we cannot celebrate it now, mm-hmm. you know. I don't think that, um, that the negative way was used at the time, you know, should actually stop us believe mm-hmm. that, you know, uh, that people should always associate it with those negative energy. Mm-hmm. I think if we all have to look it forward and what was used for the centuries, mm. 
you know so this is something that I always wanted to actually say it publicly so people are a bit more aware of uh, what's the what's the brand about and it's very know, interesting who, yeah who we are it's like what is our origin you know we also we, we came uh, we, we're living in England for the last 25 26 years and the, the the most important part of being in England was to contribute to this society you know to contribute in in, in, a, in, a, in a way that um, creatively or show our world you know whether it's the world of interiors whether it's the world of fashion mm -hmm. uh, and we didn't want to just narrow it just to one thing we wanted actually to explore okay. in, 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 in many ways um, as, as you said or earlier you said oh Sasha you do travel a lot yes we do travel and, and some of those travels we use it for sourcing trips and, of course and we, we're looking at inspirations and this is how all these objects has been mm -hmm. found no, that's the beauty of it. Yeah. And is there any big project coming in the future for you guys? Uh, absolutely, yes. We we having a we having a, our new women's wear show, oh, okay. which is going to be on the seventeenth of February. We will, which will be announced in the next few days. Uh, we will take it this time. We're taking the show to New York. Wow! Congratulations. Yeah, we decided to explore the world a little bit more. Wow! You know, um, England is always here. We will mm -hmm. we will obviously come back. But uh, we thought, why not? Why we don't explore? We, we do one show outside. outside and you have England. so much uh, American people following you and celebrities. Yeah, that's great. America wow. is a great place. Um, then I wish you a very good luck with that. I'm sure it's going to work. I mean, your product is beautiful and everyone wants to be wearing Kakutuzai today. And we Thank see all those people in the street wearing your attitude, and I really like that. And, Thank uh, you. This, uh, this year, we, we'll have on the 3rd of March, it's uh, Bjork's, um, Bjork will have an exhibition at the MoMA Museum, okay. it's a retrospective of Bjork where he's going, he's the swan dress will be, sh will be on, on, a, on dress. a display, <laughs> it will go on the display, wow. so I believe that will make many people proud. Ah, that's very <laughs> yes. nice, and we love Bjork. And we love Bjork, yes, we <laughs> all do. And um, She's a big follower of your work. Yeah, she's, uh, she's a great, great person, we love that. We love her a lot dearly, cool. so it's a great uh, it's a great opportunity for everyone to know a part of the show mm. that is in February. In March, we'll have uh, we'll have the launch of Bjork's event, okay. uh, which we can't wait to see. You know, we're all excited to see. Excellent, you know, retrospective work. Cool, which is great. Thank you for welcoming us in your shop in uh, Nothing Hill, and we'll be following you. And uh, yeah. Keep, uh, keep, let's keep in touch for the future thank and uh, thank you very much for we'll the time you spend with me too. Ha! thank you Sasha thank you mm -hmm. <laughs> thank you for watching Open the Gate it was our British moment <laughs> with <laughs> Sasha from Cook and Um we'll be here for a month about so please continue to follow us every Friday at 9pm on souvenirsfromearth.tv thank you bye ciao, ciao.